Welcome to Python 10 minutes course. In this course, you will learn the basics of Python programming. I assure you, after this course, you will be able to easily write Python programs. Let's get started. First of all, start with the print function. Print function is used to display the output of the Python program. If you want to display your name as output, simply type your name inside the print function. It will display your name as output. Let's run the program and it displayed as a form. So print function is used to display the output of the Python program on the screen. Anything you write inside the print function is displayed as the output. This time I am, I am going to print 10 and you can see it displayed 10. You can also perform arithmetic operations on numbers in print function as I can add something to this value. Now run the program and it will display 30. Similarly, you can perform other arithmetic operation, multiplication, division, subtraction. And see here it display the result of multiplication. So print is used to display the output of the program. Next to the print function is the concept of variables. Variables are used to store the program input data and computational results. For example, if I want to store a, a value, create a number 1 and set this equal value you want to store in this variable. For example, I store the 10 in number 1 variable and create another variable number 2 and set this equal 20. Now number 1 is storing the value 10 and number 2 is storing the value 20. I can perform some operation on these uh, variables. For example, create a third variable sum and set this equal number 1 plus number 2. Now, number 1 plus number 2 is the sum of two numbers and this result is stored in the sum variables. We can display these variables, value of these variables using the print function, print sum. It will display the sum of these two numbers. Let's run the program and see here it display 30. Similarly, you can create uh, different types of variables. There are different types of values that we can store in variables. For example, in number one variable, I stored integer value. Similarly, there are variables that can store floating point values and string data. For example, this is a variable which can store string data, name is a string and stored in name variable. Similarly, I can create another variable id. This is the roll number of the student and it will be a unique id. It is stored as integer value. Similarly, you can create a variable gpa to store floating point values. For example, I store 3.8 in this variable. Now I can print the value of these variables. For example, print your GPA is GPA. It will display the output your GPA is 3.8. So we can use variables in our program to store the program input data and computational results. Next to the variable is the concept of getting user input. Input function is used to get the input from the user in Python programming. For example, if you want to get input name from the user, set this equal input prompt and give this the prompt. Prompt is the string that asks the user to enter something. 
For example, in this case, I ask the user to enter your name and this name will be stored in the name variable. You can check this statement by running the program. Also print the name. Let's run the program and see here it prompted enter your name. Let's enter Asif and see here it displayed Asif. So input statement is used to prompt the user to enter the data and that data is stored in variables. In this example, I prompted the user to enter his name and stored in the variable. By default, the input statement gives us the string data. If I want to ask data that is not in the string format, for example, I ask, I create a variable marks and set this equal input enter your marks now it will prompted us enter your marks but it will return the marks in the string format we cannot perform the arithmetic operations on these uh, string format values for example i cannot get the average of marks i cannot uh, sum the marks to perform the arithmetic uh, operations on the integer values here mention the int so it will convert the input into the integer format and will give us the value in integer form. Now, here I can add a string. Your name is name. Similarly, I can print your marks are marks value stored in the marks variable now if you run the program enter your name asifan enter your marks 800 and see here it displayed your name is asifan your marks are 800 similarly you can ask the user to enter uh, decimal values for example here i create another variable to store the gpa create a variable gpa and set this equal float for uh, decimal values or floating point values save the method float it will convert the input in the decimal point values float input enter your GPA now it will ask the user to enter your GPA user will enter a value and it will convert into the floating point value and will store in the GPA variable similarly you can display the value stored in the GPA variable print your GPA is value stored in the GPA variable now if you run the program Enter your name, Asif. Enter your marks. Let enter 900. Enter your GPA, 3.8. And see here it displays the information in the respective format. GPA is display, dis, displayed in the decimal point values. 
see here if i add the int instead of float now run the program and enter your name as if marks uh, 900 and gpa 3.8 this time check the output that i am asking for int value in case of gpa and i am storing the floating point value so that program crashes and it displayed an error so to get the value in floating point value you must use the float function with the input method and it will store the input in the decimal point values 